So in the previous video, we had introduced the idea of block level tags. So we had looked at the paragraph tag as a block level tab, a tag that establishes a rectangle on the browser screen. And we looked at the horizontal rule tag, uh, which is an inline tag, which uh, doesn't establish a rectangular se uh, uh, section on the browser screen. But for this video, what we want to do next is learn how to validate our code using the W3C validator. And what we're going to find if we try to validate the code that I used in the previous example is that it isn't going to validate. It's not going to be identified by the validator as being valid code. So let's take a look at this. So the thing that's going to show up as an issue is this width attribute that I used in the horizontal rule tag. So I'm going to open a new tab and I'm going to go to the W3C HTML validator. We're going to pop up the validation service and we're going to validate by file upload because right now our files are just on our computer. We haven't uploaded them to a server so they're not on the World Wide Web. So I'm going to validate by file upload. I'm going to choose a file and then I'm just going to surf to the folder. So in this case, if it if the folder hadn't shown up, I would have found where on my computer I had put the folder. Homework one is the folder we were working out of in the previous example. And you just click the file you want to validate. So in this case, it's going to be the index.htm or the home page of my website, the only page of my website right now. And we're going to check the code to validate it. And what we're going to find is we've got an error. Uh, error found while checking this document as XHTML 1.1 and they're going to give us a, an error message. Sometimes these are cryptic and hard to pick apart and sometimes they're pretty straightforward. This says line 25, column 17, there is no attribute width and they're showing me where they found the error. And the issue is for this particular example is that I used a width attribute that is okay to use, for example, in HTML version 5 transitional, HTML version 4 transitional, but has been what is called deprecated. It's being phased out of usage and in XHTML 1.1, we don't use the width at attribute with the horizontal rule anymore. We use cascading style sheets or CSS to modify the appearance of horizontal rules. So what I need to do to fix my error is I've got to go back into my code once I recognize I'm using something that's deprecated and I have to eliminate the, the attribute that's been deprecated. I need to save my change. So I'm going to go control S to save it. And then if I go to my web page and hit control refresh, now my horizontal rule is going to extend the entire width of the page again instead of 80%. And if I go to the validator, I want to re-input the file, I might actually have to refresh the web page to do this. Let's see here. Revalidate. There we go. And now the document was successfully checked as XHTML 1.1. So the validator is here to identify coding errors that you make. And sometimes you'll be using code that appears to be valid when you are doing your Google searches to find tags and their attributes, you may be finding things people are writing about on the web that have been deprecated and won't be permissible in our version of XHTML. We're using kind of the latest and greatest version, so it's going to hold us to pretty strict standards. And the validator is going to work for any little mistake that you make. So let's say that we had started an HTML document, but down here we forgot to close that HTML document. So let me do the hidden code, write the, the less than explanation mark dash 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 greater than symbol to hide that tag. So I'm going to go ahead and save, control S for save and then update my web page. Oh, come on, control refresh. <laughs> and it's wanting to just, it's having a hard time with that. That's all right, we'll revalidate our file. 
and now it says uh, the document cannot be checked and let's try it one more time w3c I'm not expecting it to validate because I eliminated the closing HTML tag let's make sure it actually tried checking it check there we go that's better now we're getting an error message one error and what does it say the error was n tag for HTML omitted so and but omit no was, uh, wasn't specified so they're identifying correctly that I did not close the tag right I'm missing the closing tag what if we had done something even simpler what if I had remembered to write the close HTML right I have the HTML at the bottom of the page closing the HTML document what if I just left off the left the forward slash sorry what if we just leave off the forward slash so control refresh oh no control save I got to escape control save I don't even need to refresh I just want to try to revalidate this so let's make sure we choose file and go down to revalidate and I still have an error and what's the error say document type does not allow HTML here now I'm getting I only made one mistake I forgot the forward slash and I only have one error the only error I made was forgetting to put the forward slash to close the HTML but what's the what is the what is the validator seeing it's it's seen on line 40 which is down here line see how it's numbered line 40 is numbered right here it's seeing that I've tried to put another HTML tag so it's not recognizing immediately my error you can't put it here but I didn't mean to put it there I meant to put a forward slash on it so now line 40 I'm missing uh, the XML and S attribute for HTML so it's telling me that I'm missing this piece I, it's saying hey you didn't include that but you have to but that's not what the error is right because I wasn't actually trying to make an HTML tag in the incorrect spot so so the the issue with the validator is that one error can spawn a host of errors and you might have to read through all of the error message to, messages to kind of get an idea for what's going on n tag here's the actual error n tag for HTML omitted that was my actual error so I need to fix that error if I want my code to validate so go forward slash and then control save and then whoops I'm gonna move that over there there we go so if I re-upload that file and then revalidate it now I cleaned up the mistake and my code checks and in general my my suggestion is if you're coding a lot of code that you check or validate your code frequently because if I do a little bit of it at a time and then validate it and then fix any errors and a little bit and then validate it and fix the errors it's less overwhelming than if I type 300 lines of code and have 60 errors and I'm not quite sure where to start looking now the the if I forget to self close a tag I will get an error message and if you make the mistake and I've seen this mistake a lot of people not remembering that a tag is supposed to be self closing so let's suppose I do uh, forward slash horizontal rule which is supposed to be a self closing tag let's see if the validator is okay with me setting it up in that format so go control save and then back over to the validator want to re-upload my index file and then go over and let's revalidate that errors found and what's the error message n tag for hr omitted right so it's and then and so your problem when you read an error like this is you're you're going to be tempted to say but I didn't omit it it's right there there's the closing tag for the HR right but so it's telling me that I omitted the closing tag the end tag for HR omitted as as the novice uh, coder I think hey I did close it 
but because that tag is supposed to be a self-closing tag, the closing needs to be inside the tag. Control save, and then that should get rid of that error. Re-upload the file. You can tell I haven't done this in a while. I feel slow. And now I've six, I, I'm, I'm good to go again. Let's say I had, instead of a lowercase tag P, what if I put uppercase P instead of lowercase? So the question here is, are your tags case sensitive? Do they have to be in lowercase? And so we'll try to validate our page having used an uppercase letter for a tag. So I chose my file, I revalidate, and I should get an error message, right? Element P undefined. Tags have to be lowercase. In XHTML version 1.1, you can't use uppercase letters for tags and the validator's going to flag that. And, and the problem is now it's saying an end tag, uh, that there's an end tag which wasn't opened. What this, so end tag for element P which was not opened. So what that is picking up, so this is a case where one mistake generates multiple errors, but not all of the error messages are relevant. So because I capitalized the P right up here, it's seen that, that this NP doesn't have a corresponding opening tag because it's not recognizing the capital P as a paragraph tag. So it's telling me, hey, there's an end closing tag for which there was no opening tag. So case sensitivity uh, comes up as something that is important. And if I misspell a tag, so body, if I misspell it on accident, so I, let's, let's say I leave the O out and I save this. You know, is spelling going to matter when you're working with your tags, your attributes, your CSS? And the answer is going to be absolutely. So if I re-upload that file and revalidate it, it's going to throw another error message. It's going to say, hey, BDY undefined. I misspelled it. I forgot the O. My mistyping is going to be picked up as an undefined tag. And what I need to recognize is I need to go in and clean the spelling up. And now it's seen that I have an end tag for the body, but there isn't an opening tag. So because this tag isn't spelled correctly, the end tag down at the bottom of the page is being flagged as an error. You have a closing tag for which there was no opening tag. So that's kind of the, the gist of it. You are going to want to use the validator to validate your code. For the homework assignments, it'll be a requirement that you submit validated code and a good chunk of your grade is going to be driven by whether or not your code can validate and you will not get a good grade if your code does not validate and those monday wednesday sessions in zoom that we run are really for you to bring code that you're having problems with to the table so that we can try to look through and figure out why it's not validating or why it's not doing what you want it to do